talk about my favorite backline setup this is for most venues when you show up with, and there's like a you know a fender twin or a deluxe or maybe a super reverb they all kind of have that fender thing happening so this tube driver here i'm going for more of a plexi or a friedman kind of sound this old tube driver from the 80s gives you that marshall thing really like no other pedal i've heard <laughs> I just use this EQ here for a boost. What I do is I actually cut with it. So when I'm using my regular rhythm sound, it's cutting everything um, just to make it a little quieter. Then when I, when I solo, I turn it off and then the full signal, I, I find it's more dramatic this way. Um, it's also what I've been used to too, putting it in the loop of like, you know, any of these amps or 1987X, you get more of a, an effect if you kind of do it the opposite the way way people usually use it. So if you put it after your overdrive or in like an effects loop, you get a really big difference. However, you set it, you know. Um, I find it also cleans it up a bit if you take some of the frequencies out. Instead of boosting them, you get more noise. But if you you know, take some of it out, just cleans everything up, makes it a less noisy. And then I got a great DD2 here. I also like that you can pop a battery in this too, in case you have a quick little jump on stage type gig here in Hollywood. Like, you know, I'm playing at the Whiskey and the Viper Room and a lot of these other ones lately. And they're just like, you jump on stage, you get your 30, 45 minute set. Um, you could even just use a nine volt battery, which is easy with not having to, you know, use a pedal board or power supply, anything like that. This runs off 18 volts, so you definitely need that. This has a cord attached, so that's nice. You don't have to even worry about an adapter. So I usually just switch out different pedals depending on the gig and stuff like that, knowing what kind of back line they have. Um, it just doesn't make sense to take some of this big stuff or even my combo and all that with the setup time and all that for some of these just throw and go gigs. So pretty much any Fender like this, you can set it pretty neutral, you know, maybe like 12 o'clock, everything. And you hear how nice that DD2 is. It's the, you know, the oldest of the Boss Digital Delay pedals here. Um, it's just a little warmer than some of the DD3s and the newer ones. So I got a little slap back there happening. Without it, you know, and usually there's a little reverb, so I might turn a little tiny spring reverb on there just to give it some depth. not to use pedals usually but this is the most martial in a box because there's an actual real tube in there you know so something special is definitely happening in that pedal compared to you know a lot of the other um you know solid state pedals i've tried um and they're all different you know you'll find that these can really vary um i've had so many different ones over the years but this one's got a little more gain to it i mean you can see that it's pretty distorted and i'm only on like two or three so you, you know it starts to get really compressed if you start turning it up a bit 
Let me just kind of show you my settings and stuff here. So you have to turn the output level up pretty high to kind of make it sound about as loud as your clean tone. You know, you could probably do the, either way with the MXR there, the um, EQ pedal, you could either boost it for your solos or whatever if you're going after an overdrive. But in an effects loop, I find it's a lot more dramatic to do it this way, um, or even in front of the amp as well. And I'm just used to it, so I do it that way. Um, and then just, yeah, kind of like slashes, kind of repeats on like, Welcome to the Jungle or something for the delay. Just some, you know, some nice digital delay. And, and it's, I think it's better to use digital delay with a more distorted sound like this. It's just a little cleaner repeat, you know. Um, but it's a warmer digital, so it's it's kind of best of both worlds. I think you get that tape echo thing happening a little bit. And, um, you know, and you get the cleaner digital. And you could use a battery if you need to, you know, so that's always good for an emergency or if you just got to jump on stage real fast. It'll last you a couple hours um, off of a battery. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think.